Hey, it's Ellie. Welcome back to another Sims 4 recreation speed build. So today I am building an apartment that was actually a request from someone who saw another of my builds a few, probably like a month or two ago now. I did a build of the How I Met Your Mother apartment that Ted and Marshall and Lily all live in together for most of the show and I really enjoyed doing that. That's actually what kind of made me think of doing this new recreation series because I just I like building things that I can like that are real I guess. <laughs> I like building them from the pictures and watching the shows and I just feel like having Having the TV and movie sets in your Sims game gives you so many opportunities to play cool storylines with with those actors and stuff. And I mentioned it in that other speed build, but I really wanted to do a sort of let's play of the How I Met Your Mother characters, even though it would be so insanely complicated and I don't think I could really pull it off very well, at least now, but maybe in the future. Anyway. This build, uh, I realize I haven't said yet, but you probably already know because it's in the title. It's Barney's apartment from the same show, How I Met Your Mother, which is one of my favorite shows, and I was more than happy to do this speed build. I really like this apartment too. It's maybe not as cluttered as as Ted and Marshall and Lily's apartment, but it was still fun to build and it was pretty easy as far as all the items that are in it. There's a few things obviously that I couldn't get in The Sims, like he has a very large stormtrooper statue costume thing. I, I think it's a costume. People, they got in it in the show. So yeah, I guess it would be a costume. And he has that in the back of his apartment, and the closest I could get was the suit of armor. So that is not exactly the same, but, you know, that suit of armor is actually, like, the most expensive decor object, I think. Or, like, one of the most expensive, like, second or third most at the very least. It's very, very expensive. So I figured that was kind of perfect, though, because he would spend crazy money on something like that and I also I was able to put the very giant TV obviously it's not the full wall that it kind of should be in like it is in the show but it is it is a very very big TV and it goes on the wall um, I built a kind of a section of the wall to come out with that you can see there behind the bar and so I put the TV on that entire thing and it fits very perfectly. Figured that was a good solution to to that issue. I watched a few episodes in particular that I really needed to watch so that I could see the layout of, I remembered a few of the episodes where they spent a lot of time in Barney's apartment so I went back and watched those. Uh, and, and in case you're curious, uh, it was season two, episode five, which is the episode where Lily moves into Barney's apartment with him. So in that episode, I found out that there is a second bedroom in his apartment because she mentions it. I believe there are also two bathrooms, but I'm not sure about that. I put two anyway. But uh, yeah, there are two bedrooms. So... I kind of just made up the other one. I'm pretty sure we never see it in the show. I can't remember ever seeing the guest room of Barney's apartment. Mostly you just see his living room and his bedroom. Obviously he spends a lot of time in there. And then I also watched season 7, episode 9, which I think was the hurricane episode. I believe that was the right one. Yeah, they spend a whole episode in Barney's apartment waiting out a hurricane, and so you see some more of the apartment in that, specifically the bathroom, which is mainly why I watched that episode. I remember that Lily takes a bath in the bathroom, so I watched that episode to kind of see how the bathroom is laid out, and I tried my best to get it pretty close. I couldn't exactly do it perfectly with The Sims, but... 
it's it's pretty good, I think. And then the last episode that I watched was season eight, episode ten, which is the episode where all of them sneak into Barney's apartment for different reasons. I don't even remember why Ted is there. I think he wants his label maker back or something. Something about labels was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really remember that uh, episode, even though I just watched it like yesterday. Or was it two days ago now? Yeah, it was two days ago now. And I, you'd think I'd know what was going on in that show, considering I've watched it like ten times through. But yeah, I can't remember why Ted was in that apartment. Actually, oh, oh, now I remember. Lily called him there. Lily was also sneaking in Barney's apartment, and Robin was too. So yeah, they were all in there. They spent a lot of time hiding out in that apartment, so I got a few good views of things that I hadn't seen before. Like the closet in Barney's bedroom on the right-hand side. It kind of didn't remember that there that was there I mean I guess I just never like realized it before I never was paying attention too much when I was watching the show before but when I was watching it this time I was definitely just going through and trying to look at the background and see how the apartment was since I did have to make up some of the apartment, like the other bedroom and whatnot, I kind of just left that off the recording. I didn't feel like that was necessary to put in. But I'm just working on everything that you see in the show on this recording, which I'm working on the bathroom right now. And like I said, I try to get it. I will include some screenshots um, in the end so you can compare it. And uh, hopefully you've watched the show so you kind of know what it looks like as well from that. But yeah, it's not perfect, but it's definitely pretty close. I think it's one of the closer recreations I've done as far as, as, far as the layout goes. I would say the layout is pretty spot on, I think. I mean, like I said, I did have to make up the bedrooms and whatnot, so I have no idea how, how that part is laid out. But... Other than that, I think I got it right. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I was actually, I guess I never realized before, I was always thinking that the closet kind of behind the kitchen that they sometimes hide out in is on the same wall as the kitchen, but it's actually not. There's a whole hallway in between there, which you can see in, in the season two, episode five. Uh, in that episode, it shows that hallway, and that's where his porn uh, whole shelf is, so I also included that. I didn't put it on recording because I actually almost forgot it, but I remembered it before when I was going through and just doing my miscellaneous clutter and whatnot that I usually do off recording at the end just to make it look a little better. And, you know, get it ready for screenshots, because I always notice extra things that I miss when I go back and take my screenshots, which is why I wait and take my screenshots, like, a day or two after I build it, just so I can go back and look at everything and fix any mistakes that I might have made, because I usually make some mistakes, like, forget major things. This time it was the, the porn shelf, which is kind of important in the show. So, I mean, it's not super important. You only see it, like, one time in that episode, but, you know, it's Barney, so he has a lot of porn. And I did even light it up with the red lights that he has, so... I don't know if you can see it that well in the game, to be honest, because the lights aren't very bright, um, at least the ones that I picked for the wall lights, so... I don't know, maybe if you had some different ones, it would light up a little better. I do put it in the screenshots, though, so you can see it for yourself. So yeah, that's about the end of the speed build. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel, because I post some videos every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and if you have any requests for me for any kind of build, just let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to do it. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye!